Hello guys, you're welcome to Evocash Tech and today I'm going to be talking about Tested PC Pro certification exam and living with some tips and what to expect and not what not to expect. So I don't know about how you're going to the to study exam. Um like my school, would it go through um school website you click on the link and you take you so they test out to website straight to the exam but sometimes um you can go to you can start also with the test out website go to the test out website you log in and go to um assessments and you're gonna see start button there so the which you're gonna click on start so they're gonna tell you this is just an overview on how what you want to expect in exam. This exam tests your ability to perform real world tasks using the Windows operating system, common PC hardware and software, base, basic networking devices and printers, security features and mobile devices. So um, it is a performance based exam that is that test what you can do, not just what you have memorized, which is true, hundred percent. So let me not read you what you're gonna read there, though. So um, I think probably at the end of your exam, that's where you're gonna see um, this, though, because like your school won't enable you to in, won't enable you to take the exam until probably the last week, maybe if it's um uh, sixteen weeks, probably the sixteen week. That's when they're gonna enable the exam, or if it's eight week, then the um the um the last week they're gonna enable you to take the exam. So test at PC Pro certification exam. This is what you need to expect. So let me read down. This exam tests your ability to perform real world tests using the Windows operating system, common PC hardware and software basic networking devices and printers security features and mobile devices when you say um mobile devices basically um ipad though but i don't think no android in there is a performance based exam that tests what you can do not just what you have memorized which we read last time in the last um so instructions you will be presented with a series of performance based questions usually 13 I don't know, maybe they may review it and uh, keep changing it and stuff. But right now it's 13. Each question presents a scenario and a set of tasks. Yeah, so um, different tasks, probably floor one, floor one, floor two. It can be floor, um, it can be building A or building B, whichever one, but that's how it is. You can return to so it said you can make one attempt to complete each question. So if you practice with the practice exam, that you can go. I like the practice exam. There are nineteen questions, so I can go to answer uh, uh, question nineteen. Then I'll go back to question one. Well, I just make I just play with it though. But when you take this exam, you can go back. But like the next page, I'm going to show you how it is not the actual exam though like i don't think you can have a description of the actual exam the exam covers content that is taught yeah um so uh, i think uh, and you cannot return to the previous questions or review your answers so complete each lab as follows click on lab to start the exam but um i think i'm gonna show in the i'm gonna say that in this clip okay so um so these are what let me uh, read out the important message highlighted with orange the exam may be attempted only once per exam voucher i think yeah if you fail the exam which i hope you don't it's gonna buy one like four dollars 39.99 actually though so let's say forty dollars i think no tactics if you do not pass the exam you may purchase a retake exam voucher online yeah you're gonna meet an instructor and tell like hey i didn't pass the exam um i need that i need the exam voucher which is gonna i think probably look 
ask Comtia to locate fat for you or you're gonna contact Comtia and maybe the contact Comtia as for an exam voucher for a retake but you should definitely pass it to one try because spending extra money I don't like I don't like the idea though say so then to so you do not click start it exam until you are ready to complete the certification exam well should you click start exam when you're not prepared for it though if you know you're going to the store you're going out if you don't think about get like if it's this middle like if i'm going to be taking an exam i don't plan on going anywhere that day or like probably around that time frame though because when i do write want to write an exam i do get um exam anxiety so um i just i just like if i'm preparing for exam i like my mental health Not like mental health really though but like my focus should be on that exam i take a lot of practice labs if maybe i'm going for a um, certification exam i try to read as much questions and uh, performance based questions as possible so just try and maybe understand what i'm going to see there and uh, hopefully pass the exam so i'm really anxious though so if i'm if i'm thinking about going somewhere uh, i may be distracted and probably do by the exam and when i go i finally go to where i want to go i just don't pay attention and start thinking about the exam so don't go to the store don't have any like don't cut, leave work cut out for you that just two hours you can do it under one hour i've already done it under 15 minutes so so you can you and if it's that difficult for you you can do it two hours and you have to be very familiar though like i consider myself an expert in this so like so it's different from it will be different for you though or like depending on your experience and your understanding of the labs so this is how the exam is so when you click on start lab it's going to take you to on that page you're going to see test out pc pro certification exam but right now i'm using the practice exam for you i don't think you should and uh, they will allow you they don't mix it up so if you take question three today it may not be question three maybe when you go to take it again when someone someone else go to take it so like it's just labs so i'm gonna tell you this though they do combine labs that um they can maybe in the lab when i wrote i think you can see 26 slides you're gonna take 26 labs so when it's, when i tell you 13 i'm like 13 labs so it's easy now they don't like 26 27 28 because they can combine four labs in one they can tell you go to building a go take the exam um, go do this in building a then uh, go to uh, floor one do this go to floor two do this go to floor three do this so um yeah so i know i know um in the past exam it's just one lab click on this you go one lab but in the actual exam there are different labs like yep so then you can go back in the exam that's a no no you can go back when you, you click on next you take into a next and you click on next take you to the next one so you can go back and like hey uh i missed this part i have to do this there's no like a recall you can go back you just you just go forward and when you click on uh launch lab if you click on score lab later just forget it if you click on score lab you already like good though so even if um you click on score you click on score lab and it takes you back to where you started you can't click on launch lab again so you have to go forward so the time start counting though is two hours start counting from um one hour 59 minutes 59 seconds so you really have to um read for this lab and on a science lab and it probably you can um maybe write me and tell me okay i'm taking this lab maybe six months today would you want to be on zoom with me while i take the exam and i'm like okay cool but i do charge for that service though and uh yeah so i made direct okay how you gonna go about it and stuff just be there with you but like oh you're never gonna fail though like if i'm there with you because like there's no like i consider myself an expert like i said so you just 
it's just something I can know. Like, no matter what lab I see, I'm gonna be able to like direct you on it. So, when you don't answer 13 questions, because please, you're gonna see um exam end. But if the time just if the time just elapsed and you didn't finish, you're gonna see exam end. So it's gonna tell you you have reached the um, end of this exam. Click on score lab. You can, so when you click on score lab, so this mind though, I do try to info 2000. Sometimes I do get it, and sometimes I do just mix something, maybe tell me to input something, and I think probably just one letter or something, you can get it full mag. So, but 1961 is pretty good though. Like the um the minimum is 1420. So getting um 1961 is cool so test at pc pro so the date when you took the exam the time and stuff so hardware software security troubleshooting you're gonna see what it tests you uh, for so when you click on um maybe you're gonna see like me i do like to see maybe how i did so hardware is 100 percent software is 100 percent so security is 100 percent troubleshooting hmm. 75 percent like that's not bad but i think probably i missed something i don't know what i missed but it is what it is so when you don't you when you click on uh when you click on uh, cancel they take you to um you see Test at principal certification, congratulations, you have passed. You should give definitely give yourself a pat on the back. Like going through those labs is difficult. Not blind for you to get exam. Like sorry from day one, you start learning about PC, how it works and stuff. Like I don't know how to repair computer by doing this stuff though. So you can break anything here and uh, you're gonna see the results. So before you go, so like I do work, I do do a lot of stuff on this, um, on this lab. It's very, very good. So, um, you can click on view report. You're going to see this, but once you click on, uh, download print or share, you're going to come to this page. So, um, probably you have to share to an employer or a friend or a colleague, your parents click on sh the share button there. It's going to say, okay, pop out an email and you're going to put the email there and just click on share so when you click on certification it's going to tell you uh, download download the certification so you can click on download if you want to download uh on that certification like i got in my networking networking pro and uh, security pro is going to bring that out so if you got that certification though and when you click on them we're going to show you like maybe test out network pro certification so yeah, it just tell you um, it tell you this education never expired. So we say that this education was issued to you on 7-26-2024 and doesn't have an expiration date. So test PC procedure is very performance based. They tell you what it tests you on and stuff. So this is the actual certification. When you click on download, you see the certification test out pc pro you see the logo pc pro certification then gonna they're gonna write your name i'm a fan like by which is my name certified pc pro 100 percent performance base you see the certification date day 7 27 2020 for the learner's id the certificate id which you do use the certificate id or the learner's id to verify the certificate in a test at um, PC Pro website, I'm gonna show you how to um, go about it. And if you need my email, it will be in, on the description down below. And I'm probably I'm gonna put it at the end of the video, so which you know, uh, probably have to reach out to me when you take the exam. Uh, I will talk about it and set the time that's coming for both of us. And I'm gonna watch you as you take the exam. So uh, verification. If you want to verify your video, you go to the test out, or maybe your employer wants to verify, uh, set the video, sorry, 
your certification you go you basically go to um testout.com then you scroll down all the way down where you see um courses certification resources sports so under certification i think highlight this with um a yellow marker so you click on verification and when you click on verification it's going to take you to where you, you're going to um it's going to take you to where you're going to, you should um input the learner's id and when you input the learner's id or the certificate id it's going to you're going to click on enter then it will, it will verify it and bring out this so you can see it says verification should tell you where it's been where it's issued the company is issued by uh issued so your name maybe um angel james um lena's id you're gonna see the lena's id there then certificate id um it's gonna show you certificate there so you can use either lena's id and certificate id to verify the certificates then never expires you, you should you won't be able you won't renew it or never expires just once you have it you have it for life then uh is you're gonna say verified you are verified you're free to go right it's cool so so this is how the exam is and um how this video helps with maybe you've been maybe they told you you're gonna take the exam at the end of um this semester so you've been nervous and you check it out it's pretty easy though you just need to focus on your lives and read about read about it and um, just keep on doing the labs and getting familiar with the labs it's gonna be easy for you you're gonna sponge the exam like two hours you can take the exam like in less than an hour or if you don't maybe you can struggle with it probably one hour 30 minutes but you, you will definitely pass so just calm down and uh, study hard you're gonna pass so guys thanks for watching this video i'm actually grateful i'll leave my email below and um i'll leave my email probably at the middle of uh, this um speech so thanks for watching guys i do appreciate bye for now